I want to share a simple framework that I use every time somebody asks me how to market or advertise a new product or service. As soon as somebody starts running their product and service by me, I'm immediately trying to understand if they're generating demand or if they're fulfilling demand. So is the consumer already out there looking for what you sell and you're trying to stand out? Or are you actually trying to convince the consumer to try something new or buy what you sell in a different way? So for example, if I'm looking for a new sweater, that demand already exists. And there's a lot of companies out there that are trying to get found and get their sweaters in front of me. Now on the flip side, there was a product called the Snuggie that nobody was searching for. And they managed to sell a ton of them by generating a boatload of demand through infomercials. They were so successful that now people are actually searching for them and they're actually back on the demand fulfillment side. So let me give you an example of where a company could actually be doing both. Let's say that I'm looking for coffee for the office. We drink a lot of coffee here, mostly me of course. And so I might go on and actually look for something like bulk coffee. Now that would be a simple demand fulfillment transaction. People want to get found and they hope to have the best price or the best differentiation so that I actually do business with them. Now, meanwhile, I could be on Facebook and I could see a banner ad that says never buy coffee again or never order coffee again. And when I click on that ad, I could find that there was a subscription service built just for small offices that would auto ship just the right amount of coffee to me every month at just the right time. Now, that's something I wasn't looking for, but that company was successful in generating the demand for their product and service. So try to understand if your play is to actually fulfill demand that already exists or if you're out there generating new demand. And I will tell you that the margins on the demand generation side are usually much better and it's usually much less competitive. So use this simple framework whenever you're buying or investing in marketing or advertising and you'll be much more successful.